Back here at home, a vigil is planned tonight in Highland Park to honor the lives lost and support the victims of the 4th of July parade. And now you mentioned you heard Mugo mention one of the youngest victims. CBS 2's Marissa Parra tells us his family says their son is still fighting. It's been nine days since that mass shooting last Monday, and we know those seven victims who died, but there are still people who were shot, young victims who are fighting for their lives. Cooper Roberts, just eight years old, is one of those victims. The young boy's spine severed, left paralyzed from the waist down. On Friday, he had regained consciousness and was asking to see his twin brother and his dog. Family says the next few days will be critical. A family spokesperson tells us surgery to repair his esophagus is now complete, but now the young boy battles a new battle, a new infection and a collapsed lung. We have details on how you can help support him and his family on our website. And tonight, City Hall will host a candlelight vigil here for the entire community. That starts at 7 p.m. Mayor Nancy Rotering will be there with music by the pipes and drums of the Chicago Police and Fire Departments. And when we talk about the scope of this, remember roughly 40 people were hurt last Monday. This isn't just the people who were shot. This also includes the people who were hurt as they were trying to get away, running through the crowds. Remember this too, the state's attorney's office said last week they would be seeking additional charges against the accused gunman, one for each and every single person who was hurt. That includes young Cooper Roberts. Reporting from Highland Park, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News. Marissa, thank you. We will stream tonight's candlelight vigil so you can be part of the community healing, honor the memory of the victims, and support the survivors. It starts at 7 p.m. on our digital streaming network, CBS News Chicago. You can find that on our website and also our CBS Chicago app.